Well, this is Artifacts of Mars. And I want to talk about the Boulder Mars situation. This is going to be a quickie. I'm going to advance a hypothesis. The hypothesis that I came up with is that the city has been taken over. I mean, from outside forces. Uh, I'm not going to sit here and thump my chest and say, yeah, yeah, they've been taken over, ISIS has taken them over, I'm certain of it. No. But I've looked at the inexplicable behavior of the public officials there, and I've been led to conclude that somebody has indeed taken that place over. Um, first of all, you have the gang members standing, uh, with, uh, city officials. You see, when somebody takes over a city, uh, one thing you try to do is you, you try to get the, uh, confidence of the locals. That's why conquerors never look like conquerors. They always pose themselves as, uh, Liberators. So the gang members stood with the city council, and that's beyond belief. All right, uh, inexcusable, at the very best. Then they have this uh, Mosby person, who's the uh, Marilyn Mosby. She's Baltimore State Attorney. who talked in a manner which was completely inconsistent of what we should be hearing to the people of Baltimore and demonstrators across America. Mosby said, I heard your call for no justice, no peace. Inexcusable at the best. Uh, she should be disbarred immediately, in my opinion. And apparently she uh, has... Uh, ties to the cops or something. It's a weird situation, but what it appears to me is that the city's been taken over. It's a known fact now that the cops were told to stand down. And allow these uh, rampaging scumbags to uh, trash the city. And what more do you need? And let me give you a little uh, factoid here. The National Guard isn't there to arrest the scum that was burning the city. They're there to stop us from retaking it. See, in my opinion, it's been taken over. I'm only going to leave this at a hypothesis level, like I said, because I'm not certain. I need more facts. Uh, Michael Savage said that it was gangs took it over. I don't agree with that. I think the gangs are standing with the city council. That's like your partisans that always stand with the leaders when the city's taken over by whoever. Because what they gotta do is get the confidence of the people living there. When the people uh, living there decide to take out guns and start taking the situation down for themselves, then so the government wouldn't like that. So apparently, uh, Baltimore has been taken over. Um, they're going after these cops, which I agree that the cops obviously beat the shit out of Freddie Gray. I'm not arguing that point. I mean, oh, he did it to himself? Come on. It wasn't racial because three of them are black and three of them are white, by the way. So I don't think it was racial. It has been listed as a homicide. Well, that's not the point here, though. What I believe has happened here is, like I said, the city's been taken over, 
my guess will be ISIS. Because one of the things I heard on the Rush Limbaugh program was that uh, the gangs intentionally steered uh, the looters away. The gangs intentionally steered the looters away from Muslim businesses. If the gangs are involved with this, there's no questioning that. And here's a full uh, transcript. She uh, paints herself as being one of the uh, people instead of being a prosecutor who's uh, determined to get to the truth. Well, there you have it. I'm not going to go into a lot of detail because I'm not sure 100% here. But in my opinion, I think Baltimore has been taken over. This is, by the way, a left-wing site, Democracy Now. You know what uh, democracy is? Democracy is two uh, wolves and a sheep fighting over what's for dinner. Duh. What I've heard is that maybe this guy was given what is known as a rough ride. In other words, they cuff him, put him in there, and they don't uh, put seatbelt on, and they drive recklessly around town, so, you know, he goes bang, 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 bang against walls. That's probably what happened. I don't think the cops are innocent. And that's why I, uh, de differ with the Southern talk show hosts. I don't think they're innocent at all. How could they be? They well, this, this was just an excuse to take over the city. The Freddie Gray thing. Baltimore is a strategic port. See, I've said that probably a frontal assault, I've said this before, probably a frontal assault by ISIS wouldn't quite do it. Because if they start coming at us right out in the open, they're going to be met with firearms. I mean, if I were to see an ISIS column coming by my uh, window, I'm not waiting any longer. I will open fire. There's no way to say it's a bus about it. Then, I know, I'm not b bothering to call the police because I know if I see an ISIS column coming by my window, then we're screwed. So, we may as well get as many of them as we can. But I don't think a frontal assault is what they're going to do. I think they're going to infiltrate these cities, take them over, uh, find excuses to burn and loot, basically undermine the city government and take them over that way. And at some point, we'll be too weak to resist. Not quite what I envisioned in my uh, movie Infidel, The Fall of America, which is available on YouTube, but it's pretty close. Well, that's it. That's my hypothesis. I think ISIS or some Muslim group has taken over Baltimore. I think they're uh, in alliance with Crips and Bloods and those gangs. And I think we're in a lot of trouble if we don't wake the hell up. This is Artifacts of Mars. There may be more on this. Thank you very much.